Oi. Oi, what? We're back. Oh, we're back? We're back. Well, technically the episode's already been five minutes long, but uh, yes. Oh, well I'm back in any case. He's back. It's, it's, what's your name? It's, it's, <laughs> Super Mario. Is it Super Mario? I, I thought I'm it was, Mario. I could have guessed it was Luigi. No, but I'm, I, I'm the Mario. The Mario. The Mario from Super Mario. Oh, okay. And that Mario. That Mario? Um, yeah. Not any other Mario? Nah. Mario Mario? Don't ever speak of that. Mario does typing? What? Mario does Mario does typing? Mario does typing. You never heard of that? Well, yeah, but with the creepy someone, floating that's head. Not, that's not someone's name, though. I know, but I'm just saying. Are you that Mario? Are you Mario does no, typing? No, no, that's a different Mario. What about uh, Mario's accountancy? Is that an actual game as well? I doubt it, but it should be. I would play that game. What would it even be about? Um, it would be to be about Mario who goes Mario goes to the bank and he's like, "Hola, I have all this money to put in the bank." <laughs> <laughs> and then what would you do? Uh, then you put, and then you put the money in the put bank. The money in the bank, and then, and you, then win. you win. You just win, yeah. So it's like, Mamanos. Mario's mortuary. That's alliteration. One. Mario's mortuary. Yeah. Oh, that's where he buries all the Goombas that he kills. Yeah. And he, and Holds he, and he says, um, he says, Konnichiwa. All, all of these people are killed mercilessly. Konnichiwa. <laughs> why are you Jap Why are you using Japanese you, you words? You didn't even realize I, I was Spanish before. What do you can? What? With the behind thing, I said hola. That's yeah. Spanish. Yeah, but that, and that, that, that's that's kind of a bit more like something along the lines of Italian than Konnichiwa and Nani. Not really, it's a Japanese made game. <laughs> Spain has nothing to do with Mario. Or Nintendo. But Mario is very clearly supposed to be in uh, you know, a stereotypical Italian hey, plumber. Play the game. Really? Yes. I thought this was I thought this was debate about Mario. No, it's just Super Mario 64. Are you sure? And you've got your 30 stars in. And it's not it's, by the way, it's not Super Mario 64, it's let's try and play Super Mario 64. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Because as you know, I'm very good at this game. Yeah, I can tell that's why you've got 30 stars and five lives. Yeah, well, you start with four, so not exactly. Yes. Anyway, so 30 stars, that means you're halfway through the game, yeah? Well, roughly, yes. Five more stars and I'd be halfway through getting the minimum amount of stars I need to beat the game. Oh, I, thought, I thought 60 was the minimum, but nope. Not 70. It's 70. 70 stars. Yeah. Oh boy. So th it's going to be a fun adventure that we go on. And right now, we're going to do some log rolling. Log rolling. Log rolling. That's not, um... If the camera will co cooperate That's here. not log as in... A little, a, a no. Piece of poop. No, it's not a piece of poop. Okay, good. Don't bring snot onto the show. This is a family friendly show, bitch. But really, is it? <laughs> yes! Is it a fucking family friendly show then? Yeah, it's a flippin' family oh, friendly show. I apologize. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're fine. No! No! Hey! Second death of the episode. Mm. Well worth it. Of course, this is your first death of the episode. Yeah, yeah. Not the second. But... Ciao! <laughs> You're like, hola! What's some other... What, what else would Mario definitely say, for um, real? Put a shrimp on the barbie. Put a shrimp on the barbie? Yeah. That's, uh... Uh, that's that famous Mario-Steve Irwin collaboration, wasn't it? Um... I guess. Do you remember that one? Oh, the, uh, you're, you're thinking Mario of the, goes down under. You're thinking of the Wiggles Steve Irwin collaboration. Oh right, that one. Yeah, the Mario Steve Irwin collaboration was entirely different. Right. Yeah, because neither of them ever said put a shrimp on the barbie in that one. Oh okay. Yeah, instead they said crikey. Crikey. Yeah. Because Steve Irwin taught Mario how to say things, <laughs> and then um. Mario taught Steve Irwin how to swim underwater for a while with lots of animals. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, uh, uh, this is what we're One of those wasn't. For. Also, yeah. It, it, it's okay, we're Australian, we're allowed to joke about it. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. It's, and it's not insensitive. And plus, it's been what? How died. long? Oh, jeez. Over 10 years? Over 10 years, it has to have been. Yeah. I mean, it's been a while. It has. But it's still too soon because it's a sore spot in Australian culture. <laughs> Is it still a sore spot? It's more like a faint scar at this no, point, no, I think. It's a sore spot. Uh, okay. Because, like, well, how old would Steve Owen be if he was still alive? What, 50? Something like that. I, I really wanted to see 50 year old Steve Owen still wrestling alligators. That would have been fantastic. And yes, I know he's a crocodile hunter. 
Yeah. I'm not an alligator. Alligator. alligator you, you American. You Americanized chump. It's not Americanized. They're two different animals. <laughs> yeah, but you you went for alligator first. I did go for alligators, and that was a joke. Didn't sound like one. Well, my point is, I really wanted to see like a middle-aged to uh, elderly Steve Owen. Yeah. Like <laughs> elderly still, Steve Owen. Still at it in the wild. Still at it. Crikey. In the what was that? <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of an elderly <laughs> voice, and then it went, Crikey. and then it went to a Mario Crikey. sort of voice. Come on, Teddy and Pindy. Let's go to the zoo, and then we should race into Crocomadai. It went Crocomadai. <laughs> Well, it, it was so. I am an animal man, and I will do this until I am no longer an animal man. So, long story short, I'm 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 kind of tired. You're kind of tired? Yeah, a little bit. It, it, well, the voice I was doing it wasn't uh, a. Uh, it was like a stereotypical elderly voice, and then it sort of went into a you did, Mario yeah. voice. A little bit. A little bit. But we're on the final star of. Uh, Lethal Lava Land, which is... What are you talking is... about? You still have to get the hundred coins! Um... <laughs> <laughs> no! What do you think I am? I'm a real gamer? Uh, well, the fact you have a gaming channel might have to do it that way. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah. If, it's as we all know, every Let's Play on any gaming channel ever has to be 100%. Yeah. It's why Smosh games constantly do 100% playthroughs of things and not just one-off episodes of everything. Yeah, well, I don't watch Smosh games. Neither do I, I've stopped watching. Alright. This is my least favorite star. I call this the shut up and wait. The, the shut up and wait and also avoid stuff and also have have fun with the camera, asshole. Oh boy, the camera, as in Lakitu. Yeah. It's also weird that Lakitu is the cameraman in this game. How? Well, because well, he's an enemy in other games? Well, not even that, but just the idea that, like, the idea that a camera in a video game is an actual camera, and like, so he's clearly filming Mario doing all this, but yeah. no one wants to see, say, hey Mario, I'll help you out. I'll make this a little easier for you because you're clearly having yeah. a tough time with this. And it's not just because Lakitu's a bad guy, because if he was a bad guy, then why would he be filming Mario in the first place? Yeah. Unless Bowser gets some sort of sick, perverse thrill out of watching Mario well, going through these trials and constantly well, dying. It, it depends on what Mario universe you're in. Sometimes, uh, like, oh, what's a good example? Uh, like in Mario Kart, how like it too is the... Well, not even that. There's like, um... The announcer of the race and the guy who says, Okay, go now! That uh, like, like Paper Mario, where a lot of, like, the enemies in other games are, like, normal citizens. You yeah, know? yeah. I, but they're like... That's a different canon, though, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's the Paper Mario universe, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's a little different when it's the, you know, the main series Mario games. Yeah. Are there like two enemies in this game as well? I think there might be, right? Yeah, there is. Okay, I that just makes it one. even more confusing, because this is clearly an outcast like two that, like... Well, think about it like an army situation, you know? Okay, so is this like two a part of Bowser's army, then? No, what I mean is, like, think about, like, I want to join up with Bowser's army. I want you to join me in crushing Mario because I want a princess. Oh, so what you're saying is that uh, not all of the Bowser's minions are evil. Like, no. It's it's all it's all uh, it's all racial issues. That... It's political. Oh, okay. You know? Racial, political, racial, whatever. Racial, political, you... environmental, <laughs> everything. Ergonomical? Yeah, it's somehow ergonomical as well. Is it reliable? Alright, you can shut your face hole. <laughs> it's economical and reliable. No, it, excuse me, it's economical. Okay. With an L. I'm sorry. We all know economical. I almost said it the bad way again. Yes. We all know economical is spelled with two L's. Absolutely. You, don't, you guys don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, let's keep it that way. So, Mario. <laughs> yeah. He is a he's a man who did a commercial for Fig Tree Tires when he was little with his sister. No, 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 you're giving away too much. No, 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 I'm talking about Mario. I'm not talking about anyone else who's in this room recording right now. Right. So anyway, Mario once did a commercial for Fig Tree Tires with his little sister when he was in uh, grade four or so, and um, the acting in it was the worst thing anyone has ever done in their life. Um, I no, wouldn't no, be so no. sure about that. No, 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 no. I, I, I can clearly say that without a shadow of a doubt. That's that's what it is. Also, we are seeing the N64's limitations right here, right now. Oh gosh! And this is uh, 
this is, this, is, this, is, this is also an emulator. Actually, no, sorry. I meant, I meant, I meant what are you talking about? This is an authentic what I meant, console. What I meant to say was this is not an emulator, and that's why it's the N64 at work. Which is yeah. clearly what you were trying to do. Yeah, it's an authentic. It's the authentic. I'm playing this on this a real N64. This is a genuine article because, as we, as you know, N64s are available in every EB games in the general Wollongong area. So of course we have one. Yes. I mean, it wouldn't be lagging otherwise. No, of course it. not. Like, N64 had constant lag issues and, uh, yeah. and um, you know, frame rate dips and uh, occasional Windows updates playing in the background. Windows. <laughs> a vast pirate database. That's Which is weird on a Mac as well. I mean, on an N64. What are you talking about? This isn't a Mac. This is a N64. N64. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. But if it was going to be a computer, it'd be obviously a PC. And not a MacBook Air. No, definitely not. Definitely not this MacBook Air that has the words MacBook Air written on it. You shut your face. This is not a MacBook Air. Nor no. is it any other form of Mac or computer. It is a N64. N64 PC. <laughs> N64. Is there any other acronyms or anything else you want to add on to that? Uh, N64 let's PC let's SD. Toss Linux on the end just for good measure. <laughs> that's, not, that's not like an acronym or a series letters. That's just. N64 P PC PC SD Linux. Linux. Yep. And ABC Edition. as well. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Um, featuring Spot from the classic Spot children's books and TV show. Okay. You remember those things, yeah? The Spot, the dog with the big black brown uh, dot on his side. Spot oh. books. And the yes, I I read Spot. them. Well, those was also the Spot TV show that was a thing. I'm. I was. Do you remember that TV show? That's the wrong one? Yeah, that's not the Spot TV show. It's a treasure. Yeah, that's not the TV show. That's so a chest. Do you remember the Spot TV show? Vaguely. I remember it a lot. I, I... <laughs> you reminisce about it quite frequently? I do, I do. I wake up at, I wake up in the middle of the night. Panting, sweating? Panting. Uh, 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 pr appropriately enough for a show about a dog. Panting. Oh, great. And I was like, Spot. That's Come bit... back to me, Spot. Okay, that's a bit weird. It's, it's not weird. It, it's panting as in a hot sweat, as because I, I, no, always, it's... Have to, oh, because I always have the Duna on, even in summer. That's yeah, why. The, you're a weirdo. Yeah, we've established that already. It's nothing new. Fresh take there. I'm, I'm willing to accept that you reminisce about the cartoon of Spot. Correct. But not exactly. Oh. Excuse me. One of the best games of all time, people. There we go. Oh. Game almost chugged for a second there. Because mm. that's what you get when you play on an N64 console. Mm hmm. Yeah, and, and not an emulator. Not an emulator. And not on a Mac. Not on the Mac. And not on Spot. Not on Spot? Yeah, like Hop on Pop. Except it's not on Spot, because that's like yes. as well. <laughs> Fight against the current. <laughs> Stop. Oh, ball, 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 ball. Do you have to go back and get the other one as well? No. Oh, maybe. One of the greatest games of all time, Yeah, buddy. it's one of the most highly reviewed and highly liked games I've ever. And it's like this for a lot of it. It's a lot of guesswork. Well, it's not even that. It's also a lot of blank. Shit. Yeah. Speaking of one of the one of the um, most um, critically acclaimed games of all time, Mario Odyssey. What about it? I played um, bits of it at a friend's place oh. recently. Yeah. And yeah, that's really good. Okay. I played the I played like half part of the first world, and I really want to play the rest because it's really good. Unfortunately, we don't have the right console, but I want it. Oh, that's handy. I'm not gonna get that though. You already tried that one. Not, not, that one. not that one. Let's try the this one. Let's try the this one. The this one. But anyway. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch. It's looking really hot at the moment. Like, they're, they're getting all their games for it now. Yeah. A lot of the games have been really well reviewed and well received. And they're getting a lot of third party I... support as well for it, like Doom and stuff like that. I couldn't give a toss about the Switch, if really? I'm being honest. No. Really? Well, the only the only game I want to get, really, Breath, Breath of the, the Wild, Wild, you can there get on go. Wii U. Right? Well, yeah. But. Why would you do that? Why use a dying console? Because I'm not going to spend a couple hundred dollars to play a game. A single game. 
I mean, you don't have to. You can get it for you can get this console for a particular game, but then once you have that console, you can get the other games for it as well. Like, yeah, but I don't, uh, there's not enough games that I like that at the moment to I don't know make it worth it. Mm. I don't know. There's enough there for me to be like, yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. Even if I have to like cash in five years worth of birthdays and Christmases, I want it. All right, last chest. Boom. Do not go in there. I swear to God. Do not go in there. If if I die from this, yay! Oh boy, one of the best games of all time, people. You you think that's a good spot to end the episode? And the entire channel and the entire internet. Just I'm deleting everything. Good. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye.